Hi, I'm making a screen exchange video on the Acer E5571 54FL. So I have this laptop. It's a pretty good laptop, but the screen is pretty bad as you can see. There's no way you can see the entire screen without having some part of it gray sh red shifted, gray shifted, whatever. And it really hurts my eyes to see this. So what I'm going to do is replace the screen with a screen I bought off laptopscreens.com. And what I currently have is this 1366 by 768 TN glossy panel. And I plan on replacing it with a 1080p IPS uh, matte panel. It's pretty hard to see outside because of the gray shift and the glossiness. And I hope this panel change will help me better use this laptop. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is power this off. So just turn it off. And we're doing that so we can remove the battery pack. You're going to want a screwdriver and your re replacement screen. Once the laptop's turned off, you want to remove the battery pack. There should be something over here. This. And you, this locks the battery pack in place. So just use your thumb, slide it to the right, and you can unlatch the battery pack. It's pretty simple. Once we have the battery pack out, we don't have to worry about the power anymore, and we can remove the screen. So there's a plastic, there's a panel protected by a plastic bezel. And what you're going to want to do is push your fingers between the plastic and the panel and uh, try to separate them. So it's just being held in by plastic clips. So don't worry about it breaking. It's not going to break. Plastic is pretty durable after all. It's going to what spend what 1000 years or more in the landfill. It's, actually, it's pretty sturdy. So just go all the way around pop it off and you're going to probably want to pop up the corners last and here it is it's off so now that the pan now that the bezel's off you can see the panel there's there's four places where it's screwed in here 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 and here and I'll put better pictures maybe at the in. and what you're going to want to do is unscrew them so go in the go in the star fashion and just unscrew them. Make sure you place the screws somewhere, someplace safe. They're pretty small. Once you take enough all the screws, the screen scope is going to be held on by four plastic posts. They're here to line it, and just. Gently ease the screen off. This cable connects the screen to the motherboard, and I'll give you guys a closer look. It's protected by yellow plastic ta yellow tape, probably electrical. And th just don't worry about it too much. Just gently pry off and lay it across the keyboard. So once you've taken it off, you're going to see that there's a connector right over here. And you're going to want to peel the tape back off from the connector. Make sure you don't break anything. And once you peel the tape off, you can just disconnect the screen connector. So just gently, pu gently push it off. Just wiggle it. And it should be off. So here's the connector. It's 30 pin. I think it's embedded EDP, embedded display port. So since it's Im embedded display port, it might differ in your laptop model specifically. It has enough bandwidth to support a 1080p monitor. So take your take your new screen off. Again, this is one this 1080p IPS mat. You can see over here it has a protective film. And before you uh, finish installing, remember to take this off. So what you're going to want to do is connect this. Connect this little thing, plug it in. 
The connector should be on the bottom of the panel. Lay across the keyboard to make sure it doesn't get damaged and plug in. So once it's plugged in, push the tape over it, make sure it's secure, and you want to put it back into the plastic posts. Okay, it's pretty secure. There's tape over here. If you want, you can re-secure it. It probably doesn't really matter. And let's put the screws back in. So don't put them in all the way. Go in the go crosswise diagonally. Make sure this make sure it's aligned correctly and no single part is excessively strained. That's one. And once all of them are in, just make just tighten them up. Okay, it looks like everything's good to go. I'm taking off the protective covering. I'm so sad it didn't make like the satisfying screech so sound, but it's all right. And with that, let's put the old panel out of the way. And let's put on the plastic bezels. These bezels are pretty wide. They don't have to be that wide. I wonder what Ace was doing. So let's go from the bottom up, make sure they're connected again. It looks fairly connected, so I'm gonna put the battery pack back in. Connector, just slide it back in. So now we're going to want to boot it up. It might take a few tries. It might be like detecting the new monitor. That was try one. This is try two. Hey, it's showing. I'm going to enter my password off screen. And we're in. So let me go to the, my, oh, my different photos. And from here, we can see that it's detecting the correct bandwidth and it's at 1080p, so that's great. Let me go to the photos. I currently have flux, so I'm just going to disable it for now. And here's the capital again. Capital again. So, compared to last time, there's virtually no gray shift, and if you go to a dark, if you make it dark. You shouldn't be able to see my reflection. So it disperses reflections. That's great. And it looks good. Anyway, thanks for making it through. And I hope this is of use to you if you decide to replace the screen. Everything seems to be working. Some of the icons are low resolutions, probably because I re installed them at a lower resolution. But yeah, it's pretty good. Photos w definitely work correctly. Again, uh, I made this video in exchange for a partial refund by LaptopScreen.com and they wish to have more videos of people replacing their, their laptop screens. So I guess this is a tutorial of some sorts. Thanks for watching.